there are two very tiny screws that are part of this assembly. Now what I'm doing is I'm using the MIA Microflight JIS number 000 screwdriver. We have sold these uh, uh, specifically for this for this uh, installation and, and removal of these screws. These are very tiny screws and you can you cannot remove these with uh, precision uh, and sometimes without stripping them unless you have the proper size screwdriver. That's one of the reasons I created the MIA Microflight JIS double triple double O and triple O screwdrivers. It's because I every screwdriver that I had tried to do this particular assembly installation was not the exact fit for these particular screws they give you in some of these helicopters that I that are made overseas, which includes the Wakira, the uh, many of the, the Align, uh, uh, and also the Blade. Uh, helicopters. So anytime you have a tiny little screw, think about, consider the AMIA Microflight screwdrivers. You can buy very expensive screwdrivers, but you will not have the same fit as our particular triple O size screwdriver has, in particularly for this size screws in this uh, installation, removal and assembly. So anyway, Moving on to the to the frame, the frame needs to be assembled as uh, typically done with Mia Microflight uh, combo uh, tough landing gear frame assemblies. We've also incorporated this uh, these tabs here, these ear tabs, and they need to be fitted with the these rubber re uh, retainers or uh, press fit uh, clips. This is to hold the battery in a press fit form uh, and allow easy removal and adjustment of the battery. Battery fits right underneath here. I will show that later on in the video how the battery sits there and how it fits. We supply this as part of the kit and we also get two straps, rubber straps, which go around this if you need to. You don't need to do that, but you can certainly add that on as a added uh, measure of uh, retaining the battery. The struts is, is our typical struts that we include in all the Mia Microflight uh, uh, tough landing gear kits. And also the skits are the typical G10 skits that we provide in the uh, tough landing gear kits for all the helicopter upgrades that we make. This particular kit, as we did for the MCPX combo kits, also comes with the same style boom supports and bracket for the uh, tail fin. It also has a tail a horizontal fin as well as a vertical tail fin which we're not showing here in this video for simplicity. You don't need the vertical fin but we included that as a bonus as part of the parts that are part of the G10 parts tree. Uh, the existing tail fin works fine and there's nothing wrong with it but you can certainly put ours just to give it a little more aesthetical continuity with the MIA Microflight combo parts. The tail, the horizontal tail section, if you have been watching our MCPX combo kit uh, videos, and we did about four of them I believe, show all the installation and the assembly of these parts. Uh, what you need to do with this particular kit is basically go back and uh, revisit those videos to, uh, to see how the, the uh, frame is assembled as well as these parts here, the snap-on clips which are these white plastic parts that need to be glued to the boom supports as well as the horizontal fin and those basically just clip on the boom in um, similar fashion that we did for the blade MCPX they clip right on the boom so what you have with this particular kit is a full almost a full frame we didn't do the full frame because it wasn't necessary and we figured that it would have been more trouble to do a full frame where the user has to remove all these components and risk breaking some of these little wires that are attached to the servos as well as the motors and, and so we didn't do that and we figured it was much easier to do that and I think that's one of the benefits that we had when we did the Blade MCPX combo kits is that we did a similar setup where you could just attach these parts 
the uh, uh, to the blade MCPX plastic frame. You don't have to remove uh, some of the electronics in the equipment, risking uh, possible damage.